Hi Leo, welcome to your general reading for the second half of September. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. Um, please check the description box below for any and all information you need about me, personal readings, decks I'm using, social media, past Leo playlists. They're all listed below. Tons of information there, so please do go check that out. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you. And my returning subscribers, thank you so much. Those who have reached out for personal reading, thank you, thank you. And those who have blessed me with an energy exchange, su such as a tip or donation to the channel, is very much appreciated. So all your support really does mean a lot to me in supporting the channel, helping it grow and flourish to get the messages out who, need to, who needs to hear it is uh, greatly appreciated. So thank you so much. So as you see, I have a new angle here, so I hope everybody uh, likes this and it's okay for everybody that you can see the cards. I have this new, um, it's actually a poster board, but I wanted it with my logo on it and to do my readings on it. So uh, I hope everybody enjoys this and that the angle is okay. You can leave me some comments, let me know what you think, and uh, I guess we'll get started here. So this is for Leo. Second half of September. Hope everybody's doing well, going into the fall season already, if you can believe that. Okay, so this is a general reading, so I will read it general, but if you can fit it, if it applies in any kind of situation in your life, whether it's romance or anything else, then please fit it how you see. Don't make it try to fit if it does not fit. I've been getting comments that on other readings for other signs that, well, know that that's not true, well then it's not your reading. So if it's not resonating for you, then it's just not your reading. Um, but I ask that you don't unsubscribe because I may pick up on your energy next time or in future readings. So please keep that in mind. Um, so don't take everything to heart here. Okay, so for Leo. So this is a Zodiac Oracle. So let's see what we get for Le some Leos, what kind of energy may be around them, possibly somebody or something they could be dealing with. And if you don't resonate with this part, that's totally fine. It's sort of like a little extra bonus. So for Leo, one card for Leo, please. Just want one, one card for Leo. Let me take that one. Okay, let's see what we have. Oh, we have Pluto, and Pluto is Pisces. And, no, that's Scorpio, sorry, that's Scorpio. So Pluto is about life, death, rebirth, sex, uh, power, control. So it's all about the basic cycles of life. So we'll see how that fits into your reading. Life, death, birth, rebirth, sex, power, and control. Oh, what's going on, Leo? What's going on with that energy? And I do notice here that Pluto is number 22, which twos are about unity, partnership. Two and two, four. Four is about stability, foundation. So I don't know. Okay, this is slippery. So I hope this thing doesn't slide all around, but we'll see. All right. Let's see what's going on with Leo. Leo. Second half of September. What's going on with Leo? Second half of September. Spirit, please. What is going on with Leo? Let's get a card for Leo. Leo, Leo, what's going on with you, Leo? Second half of September spirit, please. Just one card for Leo. See what your main energy, main message is to start. We'll go with this, the Empress. Wow, so I had said here that Pluto had a lot of energy in it about sex, death, birth, rebirth, power, control, and here's the Empress energy. And the Empress is Libra and Taurus, but it doesn't have to be. So this is Archangel Gabriel. Time to act upon your plans. Creativity is rewarded. Luxurious or abundant resources. So, you know, the Empress here is somebody who is very uh, much in control. She's sort of like the mother of the deck. She embodies all the queens of the deck. She's um, 
loving, nurturing, caring, and giving. She has growth and expansion. She's stable. She's honest and open. Um, has truth and clarity. She cuts away things not serving her. And uh, very passionate, go-getter type of energy. Growth, birth of new things. Wow. So knows her worth and value. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we have the world. So I definitely feel here, and this is earth energy, specifically Capricorn, but it doesn't have to be. So the world, Archangel Michael, a very happy ending, coming full circle, spiritual growth and insight. So this is about cycles completing, new cycles starting, uh, growth, expansion. Um, yeah, so something new starting here with the world and also closing out of old cycles. Let's see what we have here. Eight of Ariel, the great, take great pride in your excellent work. Practice makes perfect. Consider getting additional education or training. So this is the Eight of Pentacles. So this is uh, work, working, mastering your craft, uh, putting in the dedicated effort here. So somebody's really, feel I feel, um, hot at work, mastering their craft, um, and standing, like really, Leo, being in your power, uh, knowing your value, your worth. The Empress is also somebody who could be a, like, kind of like an emperor, business owner, an uh, entrepreneur, that kind of energy. Somebody closing out a cycle to start a new cycle, possibly as an entrepreneur here, putting in the dedicated effort and hard work. And that could be the Pluto energy of the birth of something new. Um, be power control, you know, being your own boss, having your own power. Wow. Okay, so let's clarify with the tarot. What's going on with Leo? Let's clarify tarot. I have decks over here. I'll be doing your love reading after I do your general reading. So I think I'm just going to put those there for now. We'll be getting some extra messages from that deck right there at the end of this reading. Okay, Leo. Let's get some clarity what's going on here for you, Leo. What is the energy like around Leo? Why do we have the world and the Empress here? What are they hard at work at? What is Leo doing right now? Spirit, please, thank you so much. All right. Leo. All right, I'm just going to take from the top. If All right, so we have the moon. Okay, and that's Cancer Pisces energy here. Doesn't have to be so. <sighs> so you may be hot at work here. You know, the moon talks about not seeing things clearly, um, being a little disillusioned. Can also talk about secrets or the needing to know all the facts of things before you start. I feel like before you start out on this journey, uh, you really need to know um, all the facts first. I, I'm getting a feeling of like, just don't jump right in, not knowing everything you need to know first. And that could be this eight of Ariel, eight of pentacles energy of, you see this man studying in the book here, of learning, knowing, asking, inquiring, doing research. So you can master this craft appropriately to have this new start with the world energy. So you may want to be that empress, but just don't jump right in and have this new start with the world energy without knowing all the facts and learning everything you need to know first. All right, so let's get more for Leo. One, get one more for Leo, two. All right, so we have the Queen of Wands, and there's your energy, fire energy, Leo Sagittarius. And Queen of Wands is somebody who is a go-getter, goes after what they want. They're fiery, they're passionate. They have a lot of drive, ambition to go after what they want. Entre entrepreneurs, uh, very creative. So I definitely feel like here you're definitely in this Empress-like energy of really wanting to move forward here in some sort of new uh, endeavor and venture here. But then you have death, which is Scorpio. So this is an ending, but it's also transformation. So, you know, you 
could have just ended something here, uh, and that's why you have a new cycle starting. The world does talk about endings, cycles ending, new cycles beginning, and death is also the end of something, transformation for a new beginning. So definitely here, you've probably uh, ended something previously, and now um, you're getting ready to start out on a new cycle, a new path. But you're needing to know all the facts. Uh, don't go in it blinded, like not seeing things clearly. Or it may not work out if you go in it with that energy. Uh, like prematurely, that could be also the death energy also. So let's get more clarity here. So we have the King of Swords, which is air energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And the Hierophant, which is Taurus. So... I think here with these two cards, the King of Swords could be King or Queen. Um, you know, the King of Swords, that sword energy is all about truth and clarity. Uh, so you definitely need truth and clarity. You need to know, you need to be logical. You need to know everything you need to know. Um, and the sword also cuts away things no longer serving you. I feel like you definitely did that in the past. Uh, you stand up for yourself. You don't take any BS. You tell it like it is here and the Hierophant here is Taurus, so that's very committed energy. So I feel like you're very, very committed to whatever you're going into and in now, whatever your um, endeavor you're going into now, you're very, very committed to this with the Taurus energy, very committed to this. Um, and that's like the truth, you know, you're standing up for yourself. It's like, this is what I'm doing, this is where I'm going. This is my new beginning. I'm very committed to it moving forward. All right, so let's get more. Let's see our energy. So let's see what your actual, get more information about your actual situation for Leo, the end of September. Get three cards and here's three. Okay, so we have the Eight of Swords, air energy again. We have the Three of Wands, fire energy. And now we have the Two of Swords. So, so right in the middle of your spread is the Three of Wands. And this is about, you know, wanting to go out and sail on that new journey. But it's just a time period of patiently waiting for the right time. You see it in the distance. The ships are coming in. It's almost there. You're almost ready. But there's a period of waiting till the right time. So there's a waiting for the right time for some reason for this. Because here you have mental entrapment with the Eight of Swords. So for some reason you're stuck in your head. Um, can't get out of your own way, your own thoughts here. But, you know, you could free yourself from these thoughts and this trap at any time. And that's why maybe you have this period of waiting here because you're stuck. Stuck in, and if you're not stuck in your mind, maybe there's just something uh, physically keeping you stuck and bound that uh, you're unable to move forward at this time because you see this woman is like kind of bound also. So if you're not mentally stuck, you could be physically stuck into in a, another situation that you're not totally free from yet. And that's why you have this waiting here. The death energy too, you could be waiting for that. Uh, you know, maybe you gave your notice at work and you have to give your full two weeks or month or something like that. Um, or something to the effect where you have to let an old cycle totally cycle out first before you can jump in to this. So you're, you know, you're being faithful, you're being logical, you're being, you know, committed here with the swords energy, you're being honest, doing the honest thing also with the hierophant energy and being committed to what you have to be committed to until you can commit to your new um, endeavor moving forward. And then you have the Two of Swords energy. So this is air energy again. So again, this is needing to make decisions here, but being a little blinded as you have the moon here and then you have the moon here. So you no, know, unable to make decisions or you need to make a decision about something here uh, and you're not quite sure moving forward. So maybe, you know, maybe you're very committed moving forward into a new endeavor and if you're not sure what you're doing yet maybe this is the two of swords where you need to make a decision for your future what path you want to you want to go down now and that could be this eight, eight of um, pentacles here doing that research 
So I don't, let's get more clarity. Um, why is the Two of Swords here? I'm definitely feeling with the Eight of Swords and the Three of Wands in the death. You're waiting for some other cycle that you're still bound to to, to I can speak, to co totally close out before you can move forward. So like I said, whether it's a job you're currently in where you have to give, you know, your full two weeks, three weeks, month, whatever, or whatever, how long it is here. But I don't know what you're indecisive about uh, because I see you, you're, you know, working hard here and it's kind of like you know what you want to do. Okay, now we have the tower moment. And we have the fool, exactly. So we have a tower moment here. So maybe there was a something, you know, whatever situation you were in before, something disruptive. There could have been fights, arguments, disagreements, um, maybe an unhealthy uh, environment, if it was your work or whatever here. Something very unhealthy tower moment here that really shook things up, broke things down, and then made you realize this big lightning strike, like, you know what, I don't think I want to be here anymore. I don't see my future here. And with all this energy here now, uh, that could be the death, you know, this is the last straw, the last blow, the last whatever it was here. And uh, I'm moving on because now, and that could be the two of swords energy, you know, maybe you were indecisive. Do I leave? Do I stay? You know, that could be that two of swords energy. And then I think this tower here was like the last final straw of that of that's just it no more had enough because now you got the full energy so you're starting out resetting at zero learning all your lessons only taking with you what you need taking a leap of faith you got the sun behind you the success happiness joy growth expansion moving forward taking that leap and just jumping and diving in here it's like you see your new horizon and you're ready to jump in all right, so for some of you, I think you know what you're doing. Maybe you're going to work for yourself, or maybe you found um, another job where you'll be of a higher rank, of like a supervisor or a manager or something like that. Um, or some of you could be going to work for yourself. But there's a need here to really research whatever direction you're going in, to really research that, the moon energy there, to really know all the facts um, before jumping in. Oops. All right. So I may have to get something to put under this so this does not slide around like this. Okay. Trial and error, I guess. All right, Leo. Let's get some advice for Leo. Get one. Oh, we got the hangman. So that is... Cancer and Pisces again with the hangman. You started with the moon energy there, which is Cancer Pisces, and now you got the hangman now, which is Cancer Pisces. So again, your advice is with the hangman here is to hang back for a while here, to go with the flow, to look at everything from every angle, from every perspective, just kind of like chill and know and learn everything you need to know here with the hangman energy, like no rushing. That's kind of like a paused energy. And then you have the Nine of Cups. So that is wish fulfillment, water energy here again. So this is happiness and joy and wish fulfillment and dreams coming true. So I think this is telling you just to hang back and be patient. Go with the flow. Don't rush things. All your dreams, wishes, and hopes, desires will come true here. So let's get uh, more clarity on this advice for you, Leo. Just looking at the camera, see if you can see the cards good. I don't think you can see them as close up as before, but all right. So let's get, okay, we got the two. So now we have the queen of pentacles for your, your advice. So this is somebody who will be very stable, secure, and grounded, independent, financially set, smart, practical here. She'll have her pentacles, earning her pentacles. So, yeah, you definitely be in this Queen of Pentacles energy, whether you're going for a higher ranking position somewhere else or you're working for yourself. This is being very successful. 
grounded, secure, and abundant moving forward. And then you have the Four of Cups. So this is water energy. So this is uh, feeling kind of me melancholy and bored. So kind of like just again with the like with the hangman energy here of just kind of hanging back, chill, and not really doing much. But um, you know the offer will come in here, or you know the offer is there. So there's no need to rush things. I feel too. You could kind of sit back and take your time here, and not really worry too much. You may have other offers coming into you, but maybe you have your sight and intentions in one direction already, so you're not really paying attention to other offers behind you. That kind of energy. You may feel bored, still, and stagnant until you're able to fully um, move forward in your new direction, but just have patience here. All right, so let's get possible outcome now for you, Leo. Possible outcome for you now, Leo. So we have the sun, so there's your energy. <laughs> so again, this is success, happiness, joy, victory, enlightenment, uh, growth, expansion, happy home and family, children, everything positive. There's your success and victory and positive outcome with the sun energy. That's your energy. Wow. Positive, positive things coming. Happiness, joy, wishes and dreams coming true. It's all here. Be patient. You will be successful. You will have abundance going forward. Growth, expansion. All right. Oh, I dropped a card. So let's see. Extra clarification for your outcome. So we have, wow, we have justice and the high priestess. So I, I picked the justice up upside down, but I don't feel comfortable doing that because the way I picked up the card, so I'm going to leave it upright. So this is Libra, and then we got the high, pi uh, high priestess, which is Cancer and Pisces again. So I feel like here that justice will be served to you. Your scales will be balanced. You'll have truth. You'll have clarity. Uh, what the past, whatever the past was here, if you felt like it was an injustice, it wasn't fair, it wasn't balanced, it wasn't right, wasn't in a good energy here, justice is here to say things will be going in your favor and your scales will balance and you will have justice in your life again. Wow. And the high priestess. So you probably know this intuitively. This is being very intuitive, um, gut, intuition, higher knowing. And this is also an energy of, you know, the high priestess doesn't really say much. She kind of keeps to herself. So you may not be telling many about your plans moving forward. Um, or this is just to tell you, you know, to kind of keep things to yourself for now until you are totally able to move forward. Um, kind of keep things quiet. But, you know, listen to your intuition. Whatever your intuition is telling you moving forward, listen to that and do what you feel is right. Especially with the hierophant there that's doing things moral just and right commitment committing to things seeing them through so whatever you're committing to kind of you know listen to your gut and intuition i don't guess kind of keep it to yourself <laughs> for now all right so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck so the eight of cups so i definitely feel like here water energy that you definitely walked away from something that was no longer serving you Nine of Pentacles. So there you are, stable, secure, and grounded. This is the minor of the Empress. Can take care of herself. Very abundant. Ten of Cups. So there you go. Happy home and family. Water energy again. Happiness and joy. Happy home and children life. Family life. Fulfilled in every single way. And then the Queen of Cups. So feeling, um, you could have water in your chart. Uh, so, you know, feeling very, like, your life is full again, like your cup is full. Um, you're feeling loving and generous and compassionate again. Love for uh, life in general, for others again. And there's your Ace of Swords. So when the Ace of Swords comes up here, this is Spirit letting me know for some of you, this is your actual situation. This is truth, clarity, brand new beginnings, a uh, sort of victory and success. You know, cutting the things away that was no longer serving you. Standing up for yourself. Speaking with truth and clarity. Um, 
a brand new beginning there. Air energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And then now you have the minor of the um, justice card, the six of pentacles. So being very balanced, equal give and take. So, yep, yeah, so I could keep going, you know, the Prince of Pentacles, working, you know, moving forward, working um, slowly at your craft, slow, steady growth and abundance, earth energy there, having um, balance in your life, truth and clarity, success, brand new beginning, feeling, you know, loving and emotional and uh, compassionate towards you and others again, yourself, self-love, happiness and joy. Hope, happy home and family, being successful. Some of you could be married. Some of you could be single, abundant, or you could just take care of yourself. Definitely walked away from something that was no longer serving you and now going to something more fulfilling. Okay, so let's get uh, some extra messages for you, Leo. Extra messages for you, Leo messages for Leo. What do we have for Leo? Oh, that's way too many. Leo, what do we have for Leo? Extra messages and guidance for Leo. Knowledge, exactly. And you have the Eight of Pentacles over there about mastering your craft and studying and knowing everything you need to know. Again, confirming that with knowledge to make sure you know everything you need to know moving forward in this new endeavor. So you're practical, you're wise. Anything else for Leo? Innocence. So, you know, you may have a very playful, innocent personality, uh, very sincere, loving, compassionate, uh, fun-loving kind of energy, sense of humor. You see things with wonderment. Okay, anything else for Leo? Anything else for Leo? Healing, so definitely whatever this tower moment was in the past, whatever past situation you were in, definitely have um, healing here, so something you had to heal over. So let's see, see if we get anything else. that we have at the bottom communication so I definitely feel like here uh, we did have the high priestess about you know maybe keeping things to yourself so maybe when the right time comes also with the three of wands there right in the middle of your spread about patiently waiting for the right time maybe to communicate every to everybody your big plans once that wheel in this plan can get set in motion then you can freely communicate to others as with the ace of swords uh, about your new beginning and how you're moving forward it's support here, so I definitely see you will be supported by your friends and your family here. Okay, Leo. So if this doesn't resonate, if this did not resonate for you, you could check the description box below for past playlists. I would say um, if there's something there that catches your eye, that uh, watch it anyway, because it may be a message for you. Disregard the dates. I do consider them all timeless. And thank you so much for watching. If you do like my style, please do like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do bi-weekly general and love for all the signs. That's four readings a month. So don't miss out on that. And um, best of luck to you here. I see good things coming for you in the future. Just needing to totally close out whatever cycle you're in now so that you can move forward um, into your new next phase in life. And I see success, abundance, and growth moving forward. So thank you so much for watching and uh, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.